Hello, I am Bhola. It means simple hearted in Hindi. Welcome to my home in Uttarakhand, in the north of India. It's known for its rolling mountains and thick forests. It's a beauty. I am an Indian leopard. There are more than 12,000 of us in India. Only Africa has more leopards. But there are far fewer of us now. It's a familiar tale. The humans needed land to live and farm on. So they destroyed some of our homes. We were also hunted for our pretty fur. And even some body parts. Can you imagine? But we are also at fault because we caused them harm while trying to survive. I am not proud of it, but that's our conflict with humans. It's a tricky situation and we are learning to live together. This is my friend Sanjay from the Titli Trust. He and his friends work hard to help us and humans. Actually, our involvement with uh, this issue uh, started primarily because we uh, do a lot of uh, work on conservation and livelihood programs with local communities in Uttarakhand. On an average, between 60 to 70 people get injured or killed by leopards in Uttarakhand annually. And this is the highest large carnivore uh, attacks on humans anywhere in the world. The thing is that uh, the conflict is an old one and for the large part, uh, the method or the means to treat the the conflict hasn't really changed. The scientific research showed that the traditional responses to resolve human wildlife conflict were actually resulting in actions that only increase the conflict. We are actually peaceful creatures who do not like conflict. We lived near humans for decades. We appear in many Indian myths folk tales and artwork. In the old stories, my grandfather said, we were the protectors of humans. When humans walked through the forest, we followed them quietly to make sure they were safe. Humans even worshipped us as gods in many parts of India. But today, we are no longer seen as the hero, but more like the enemy. The danger is real. I live here with my family. I have a four-year-old son. I have had leopards in my compound last year five times. Uh, so when an incident happens, whether it be of injury or death, uh, there's a lot of anger. Search times, it's difficult to talk uh, conservation. Uh, but we try to tell people that, you know, removing one leopard does not finish the problem. Another leopard comes and occupies that territory. Something had to be done. So the team went to Mumbai, another city in India, to learn how humans and leopards became more neighborly there. The discussions uh, post our Mumbai trip has taught us that we need to shift the focus from leopards to people. It is easier to focus on people uh, than to focus on the leopard. Bako to my Bodwa de Chukihu Egwar Birko Nivala Manaya, Egwar Kutteko. Pilot on Log Darte, Lakin of Satarko way or Apne Garke Ananke Age Piche Jodhari Mote, Unko Sakarte, or Rath Honisi Pele Bear Bakarongo, Bachongo, under Kardete. They worked out our secret. We stay away when there's nowhere to hide and no easy snacks. To help humans understand us better, Sanjay and his friends created booklets about us. So clever! They even went to schools to teach the smaller humans about us. 
the small humans then put up place for their parents and village. I am thrilled that the little ones are learning about me. In spite of the lower numbers of conflict that we have seen in the last four years, uh, the fact that you know, four people died, statistics looks good, but that somebody died or you know somebody had to face the trauma of an animal attack. Although it gives us hope that our incidences are decreasing, uh, but I think uh, we still have a long way to go. I think uh, we as humans, we forget, we are just another species. And just as we have the right to live on planet Earth, so does the leopard, so does the tiger, and so do the little creatures such as ants and butterflies and moths. So I think uh, living with leopards uh, program in India is not a difficult thing for people to adopt because uh, in Indian culture, especially in the Hindu culture, there are many, many animals that are worshipped as gods. That uh, makes people extremely tolerant towards wildlife. I am glad. I could show you my home. It's a crowded space, but we are learning to share. And in time, I hope we'll be friendlier neighbors.